Hi, this is Tim Grotman, and in this video, I'll show you how to put Mixmo characters with an animation pack into RAN Waypoint routes. So first, you want to download your animation pack. In this case, I have a War Zombie, and I'm going to put this right into the Waypoint demo. So I want to make a new folder for models, and I'll download the zip file that corresponds with an animation pack that was applied to a Mixmo character. Now, if we go and look at the contents of the folder we just downloaded the zip file, we want to unpack this zip. So I'll use 7-zip and expand this character to a folder, and we no longer need the zip file. This will give us all the FBX typos and then all the animations associated with that animation pack. All right, and now we go back over to Unity. And when you import Mixmo characters, it wants to convert the texture to a normal map. And now that that is fixed, we can browse the model. All right, so in the previous demo, we we're using a capsule for the enemy. And in this case, we want to use the Mixmo model. We'll expand the folder and drag the model to the scene and put it somewhere we can see it. There we go. Send the typos with the game character selected. Use the menu Rain, Create New AI. And on the mind, we'll reuse the existing asset waypoint patrol. Okay, and now when I push play, and look at the scene view. Now we can see our Mixmo model is walking all the waypoints. Okay, and to make this look a little bit cooler, let's add an animation control to the character. So here we have our game character, and it needs a controller. So in the folder for the model, let's go and create a animator controller. Okay, if we look at the animator window, we can drag and drop one of these animations here. So we'll choose the zombie walk in place, and that'll be the default state. Save the project, and then click on the game character, and we'll drag and drop the animator controller. All right, now we're done with the animator window. All right, and this time let's have the camera follow the character. And we'll position it over here. There we go, and above the model, and slightly looking down. Okay, there we go. And save the scene, and hit play. Okay, and we can see the character is walking around. Oh, but it didn't loop. So we'll bring back the animator window. Click on the character. Okay, and then let's just add a transition so it can transition back to itself. All right, now if we look at the animator, it'll keep looping that walking animation. And if we look at the game view, you can see him walking around. Uh, one thing we can do is if you click on the character, and if we click on the AI element here and open the behavior editor. I'll dock this down here. Okay. On this move option here, we've got it moving at 10. And for a zombie walk, that's closer to like a one. Okay. And that'll slow him down. Okay. So you can see now we have a mixed mode character walking in rain using the waypoint wrap. There are a few improvements we can do. First thing to improve would be with a more advanced AI. We could keep the zombie farther away from the walls. Second, more advanced AI, we could keep the zombie from walking through other enemies like that. And the third improvement would be a behavior tree that would incorporate better integrated animator controller mechanism states so that more complex things could be going on. All right. Well, thanks for watching. 